Hey there Pisces, welcome back. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm going to do your general love reading from now through the middle of May 2020. I am going to be moving house in a couple weeks, so I will not be able to do um, an end of April, beginning of May video. So we're going to do, do it all in one for you guys. Um, I am going to have everything ripped apart here, so um, this is this is going to be it. So this is going to be your general reading from now through the middle of May 2020 general love reading. Um, not all of the messages will resonate for every single person watching, so please keep an open mind. These readings are also timeless. Like a box of Twinkies, there is no expiration date. Um, if you're interested in booking a private reading with me, there is a link to my website down below. Um, I will not be doing private readings the last week of April and the first week of May, again, because I'm moving house. Um, please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So let's get into your reading here. We're going to pull an overall energy message. Let's see what's going on in love and relationships for the sign of Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp, please, spirit, through mid-May 2020. Let's see what your overall energy is. Okay. You've got the wizard. Use your skills to aid others. Use your skills to aid others. Um, everyone has a God-given talent or skill that you can use to help other people. Okay. This is very much like magician energy. I feel like you're manifesting something new. Um, a lot of you might be nurturing creative ideas, creative projects, artistic projects. Some of you may work in the esoteric arts. Um, but everybody's got something to offer. So figure out what you have to offer, Pisces. Let's see what else is going on in love and relationships for Pisces, please. Spirit, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp through mid-May 2020. Don't forget, you can join me over at Patreon for full-length, extended, private content made only for that platform. All of the information you need to subscribe is going to be down below in the description box. You will need to download the Patreon app through iTunes or Google Play first. this deck here and see what's going on in love and relationships. General love reading plays spirit for Pisces. All right, off the bottom of the deck, you've got the page of wands. This is good news coming in, divine timing, passionate messages here, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The tower Rude awakening, sudden shakeup, an epiphany, that aha moment, chaos, a sudden end to something that was built on sand with rubber bands and popsicle sticks. It was not built on a strong foundation. This is disaster and chaos. It's violent energy, it's Mars, it's uh, Aries, Scorpio energy. Oh, two cards came out together. All right, so you have, let's see here, the Nine of Swords. This is stress, worry, anguish, sleepless nights, nightmares, 
and the Queen of Pentacles here. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so it looks like someone's stressed out, worried about either an angry outburst or something that shook them up. Somebody literally had a nervous breakdown. They might want to come in with an apology and try to figure out a way to make it up to you or this is you trying to figure out a way to make make it up to someone if you're the one that caused this tower moment, this stress, this anguish, this nightmare. Somebody is on solid grounds now. Earth energy. Um, this could have to do with um, somebody's wife or spouse. Um, but she knows her worth. She's the minor arcana version of the Empress. She's Queen Midas. She knows how to make that money. And she's not going to invest her one last F into any nonsense. She knows her worth. And she's waiting. She's, she's abundant. She's um, fertile. Okay. Someone sees this queen as their ideal partner, wife, spouse. On the bottom, got the chariot, cancer energy. Going where you're guided, knowing where you're going and being in control, taking the lead. Having your divine masculine and divine feminine energies balanced, ascending, headed towards victory and success here. Underneath that is temperance, Sagittarius energy. Um, seven of Wands and the King of Wands. So... Someone's being very patient here. They they wanna they really wanna go after what they want, but they're setting some boundaries. They wanna, you know, stand up. Somebody has to stand up for themselves here. And they've been very patient. There this can be healing and reconciliation. It's Sagittarius energy. Um somebody um is learning to set some boundaries and stand up for themselves here, which makes them very attractive. Uh, somebody's uh, putting some boundaries around their business, okay? Because the King of Wands is an entrepreneur, businessman. He's the minor arcana version of the Emperor. So. He is going to get up off of his dead ass and take some action here. But somebody's going to set their set some boundaries. They're not playing around. Oh, actually, this is the eight of eight of us uh, eight of wands. Sorry, this deck is is not is designed by Salvador Dali, and uh, he did not really know tarot, so nothing's labeled. You have to look at everything closely. So. Someone's good. There's going to be some fast forward movement here. Somebody's raring to go, but temperance is stepping in here. Somebody's, there's a lot of quick forward movement that somebody's been patiently waiting for, or things are going to start quickly coming together now. On the bottom, we've got our buddy Al, alcoholic, the king of cups, water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you, Pisces. This man offers healing love. In his high vibration, he is loving, caring, generous. But he tends to hold his um, emotions in. He can uh, withhold affection in a negative way. He can tend to drown his sorrows in uh, drugs and alcohol. He can be very moody. Um... But some of you could be dealing with more than one person here. There's a, there's a lot of people here. This could be the energy of one or two people. Everybody's story is different. Um, but somebody's been patiently waiting for communication, for things to take off. Um, someone's got a lot of passion that they're trying to control because the eight of wands is unbridled passion 
Temperance is about things slowly coming together and, and integrating everything. Quick forward movement here. And it starts with a small flirtatious communication after going through a nightmare, spiritual awakening. Okay, so Pisces, we are going to take the rest of your reading over to Vimeo, where I'm going to clarify your major arcana. We will bring in your advice from spirit as well as your love messages. I will post the link down below in the description box for you. See you there.